Hey, welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel, and uh, this is just to mention that uh, Countycom has a new batch of the Countycom GP7 SSB, which is this little radio. So, of course, you've seen videos. There's, um, I've, I've posted many, many videos with, um, you know, scans on the shortwave and also, um, you know, receiving uh, with this receiver. Of course, a full review is also online. Uh, what's new in the new version? Well, the uh, old version had a micro USB port here. And so it doesn't show very well when you look at it but it's a little micro USB port uh, where the new versions now have and support USB-C on the radio. So uh, this is a change that, uh, that uh, is on this receiver for the rest. It's pretty much the same radio. Uh, we will test it anyway. I will compare it with the older versions of the receiver. And so some videos are coming up with this. So they do have a new version. Of course, comes with that little uh, medium wave loop antenna for medium wave, uh, the manual, and uh, a, uh, a a little carrying protection case uh, for it. Uh, if you wish, because you might have seen that on this one, I've got a protective metal case. They do sell a metal case that you can put over the receiver to protect it. They also have all sorts of things, uh, silicon um, cases also that you can put over it, including one that is phosphorescent, uh, so it kind of glows in the dark. So a nice receiver, the GP7 SSB. Uh, for those that have it, I'm pretty sure you're all happy. It's kind of feels, you know, a lot of people have mentioned that, and I, I you know, I also was one that kind of wondered. It, it does have the feel of because it has the same features, the feel of the Texan PL330, but it in a different form factor. So often the question that was asked is, do you think it's the same circuit inside? Um, one thing for sure is that firmware versions don't match, but yeah, it could be pretty much the same thing in a different case uh, for sure. So uh, some videos will be coming up. I'll be doing some ETM scans, stuff like that. But a uh, new version now out. Of course, this is also, for those that don't know, the Texan PL368. It's, they are the same radio. Uh, it's just that Countycom has its own version. And, of course, if you buy it in the United States, as you see here, Countycom, um, you can buy it in the United States from Countycom Direct. Uh, they actually made a modification. The Texan version has a flimsy little antenna where the countycom version actually has a much sturdier and it actually you might see the difference in size uh just of the antenna um countycom has a much sturdier stainless steel antenna on it and of course they do sell replacement antennas so if you wish to uh replace your uh texan uh, it fits with the texan into the same radio so you could actually buy one and fit it for the Texan receivers also. But the Texan PL368, Conicom GP7 SSBR, technically an electronics inside the same receiver. Uh, but uh, this one from Conicom has, of course, a sturdier antenna. So a new batch available with USB-C if you were waiting for that and are tired of having 18 different USB-type cables. Uh, now it's actually available with a USB-C cable. So, uh, of course, uses a uh, little BL5C battery. This isn't changed uh, in it. But a uh, great little receiver if you're looking for something that is good on shortwave. The ETM scan is wonderful to find stations. Of course, it has single sideband also. And it uh, has calibration, so you can actually calibrate the frequency uh, when uh, you, uh, you want to use SSB to make sure that it's very precise. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching my videos.